Welcome to a new episode of the Amiga CD32 Review Project. The game we've been playing this time is called Benefactor, a great little puzzle platformer by Swedish developer Digital Illusions, published by Psygnosis in 1994. For you kids today, Digital Illusions are probably best known for games such as the Battlefield franchise, Mirror's Edge and Star Wars Battlefront. But for those of us who grew up with the Amiga, they're chiefly known for some brilliant pinball games. Pinball Dreams, Pinball Fantasies and Pinball Illusions. But in between those pinball games, they also did this game, Benefactor. In Benefactor, you play the role as Ben E. Factor, intergalactic hero extraordinaire, who has set course for the planet Lolliet to help the Merry Men recover their lost rainbow machine, which was stolen by the evil inhabitants of their neighboring planet Miniat. In order to get the rainbow machine back, Mr. Factor has to rescue the Lolliatian guards who was guarding it when it was stolen. These guards have been imprisoned on the six moons of Miniet, so off you go to the rescue. Benefactor is in many ways a typical puzzle platformer. You pick up keys to unlock doors, along with various other objects that you can use along the way in order to traverse the level. And in pure puzzle platformer style, the amount of things to pick up and interact with is steadily growing as you progress through the game. You're not only interacting with objects and various switches though, you'll also be interacting with the little merry men that you rescue. If you guide them properly, they'll help you by pushing switches and operating different machinery, all vital to you successfully completing the level. In order to finish a level, you need to guide all the merrymen into the exit. But beware of the black and white merrymen. These guys are destructive and may foil your attempt at rescuing them. They need to be recolorized using a coloring machine and some ink. I'm sure you'll quickly get the hang of it. The platforming is sufficiently tight and you quickly learn to guide Mr. Factor through the many jumps, climbs, rolls and falls of the level. The graphical style is somewhat reminiscent of Lemmings in that our protagonist and pretty much everything else in the level is quite small, meaning that you can see a large part of the level at a time. But even with the limited sprite size, they've created some really good looking animations and the whole thing looks excellent if you ask me. The music is also quite alright, even though its monotony does get on your nerves after about an hour. The single most important thing about a puzzle platformer is its level design, and in that regard Benefactor is up there with the best of them. I spent a lovely rainy Friday afternoon with my 7 year old on my lap, figuring out how to get through the first 10 levels or so. We'd get stuck, try again, try something different and slowly but steadily work our way through the levels, feeling real clever whenever we beat a level. This is exactly what a puzzle platformer should be about. The reviewers back in the day also quite liked Benefactor. CD32 Gamer gave the game an 85% score and they write, At first glance the graphics don't appear to be up to much, but once you start, the fluid movement and repertoire of moves on the main character will soon impress, almost like a pint-sized version of the flashback sprite. While loving the game, the reviewer seems to think that it's a bit too hard though, as he finishes off with the words. Personally, I think this may be too hard for most, but it's an inventive progression on Lemmings, and if you persist, then enjoyment is assured. CU Amiga gave Benefactor on the CD32 an 88% score, 1% more than they gave the Amiga version, writing that Benefactor is full of cunning puzzles and lovely animations, which makes it one of the best platform-based puzzle games out at the moment. In their review of the Amiga version, they described the game as follows. A one-player game, Benefactor can best be described as a cross between Prince of Persia and Lemmings. The main sprite, although small, is reasonably detailed and he moves smoothly. Running, jumping, climbing and rolling are all executed in a manner reminiscent of Prince, while the main object of the game, rescuing the Merry Men on each of the six moons, is the bit that's reminiscent of Lemmings. The One also awarded the game an 85% score. The reviewer noted that initially he was not too impressed with the game, mainly because of the graphics and sound, but after spending a little time with it, it really pulls you in. He writes, Rising like phoenix from the flames, Benefactor soon manages to capture your mind and you find that playing it takes priority over everything else. That was exactly how I felt when playing the game. Benefactor is a game that I most definitely can see myself going back to, but this is also a genre of games that I hold dear. I award Benefactor a score of 4 out of 5.